making some handcrafted winter warmer ale at home. Uh, well, <clears throat> so first of all, this is a keg, um, and I need to clean it out because we just finished uh, a batch of another beer, um, and I'll be making that uh, to go in there. But this is um, first you need to sanitize everything, so I'll be doing that. I'm, I'm sanitizing using a uh, sterilizer. Um, this is in the local brew shop. Um, <clears throat> so I need to open this up and take all the parts apart. Mm, dear. I got this one under keg. I got this one either. Can you see what it looks like inside? Yeah, sure. You can see there's some sludge at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, I put the sanitizing solution into here. Um, probably wait half an hour. 20 minutes, half an hour. Um, and then I'm gonna... I'm gonna be good. And I'm gonna recycle it. And I'm going to get the, the, the barrel that I'm going to brew the beer in, and I'm going to use the same solution to sanitize that. Partly because it's already clean, I just need to make doubly sure. Um, but, yeah. So what I'll do with this is I'll sanitize this, and then I'll seal it up and inject CO2 so that it is ready for me to use when my beer is done in a couple of weeks. Okay, cool. So, um, I've sanitized the keg. It's just dripping dry at the moment and all the components. I've transferred that sanitizing solution to my bucket. So it will continue to do its thing on the bucket. Um, <clears throat> it's only a light clean, so it's 10, 15 minutes on that. And in the meantime, I'm going to, um, I'm going to get all started on this. So the kit, comes with basically your uh, malt, malt extract I guess, um, and effectively all you do really is add yeast and water to these tins. So the stuff is really runny, so what you do is you put it in hot water for 20 minutes or so to help it melt so that it's more, um, it's easier to get out the tins when you put it into the um, uh, into the bucket. Okay, so I'm going to do that now. Okay, so um, the bucket comes. I mean, you can get this at Wilco's, or Wilkinson's, or any brew shop. Um, Generally speaking, these kits are for a certain volume of uh, beer, so this one is going to do 20 litres of beer. Um, so really, you want a bucket about this size, you don't really want to use a half size pail or anything like that, unless you're going to do half the kit. Um, this keg fits 19 litres, so some of it will be um, scrap, I won't, I won't fit it. but. So I've emptied the sanitizing solution. I've washed out the bucket with some clean water and I am now adding the malt extract to the, to the bucket. Mm, it smells lovely. Um, I've already put some boiling water in there. And then I'll, what I'll do is I'll stir it all up and add some cold water. And check the temperature before adding the yeast. Just giving it a bit of a stir. 
and I've got a thermometer somewhere. Uh, I'm just giving it a stir. I've got this really long paddle, uh, which is handy. Uh, you can get that from Wilkinson's again or a brew shop. And um, I need to just check the, check the temperature because yeast doesn't like really hot temperatures. Uh, uh, well, because it it dies. So you want the temperature to be below 25 degrees, and at the moment it's about 35. So um, I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera or not, but so I'll wait for this, and we'll uh, we'll come back to that later. Oh, yeah, you want to wait till you get to 25 degrees, and then add the yeast. Right, it's been several hours, and the temperature is now just under 25 degrees Celsius. So we're now okay to put the yeast in the, in here. So give it a bit more of a stir. Good my big spoon. And open the yeast. Okay, so it looks basically like bread yeast, um, but it's not bread yeast, and don't use bread yeast. It's a different sort of bread, it's a, it's a different sort of yeast, um, but it's the same principle. You just pour it in, and it does its magic. Um, so now I'm gonna cover it up, okay. You don't stir it or anything like that. Well, unless the instructions tell you to do so. Different recipes say to do so, but this one doesn't. Okay, I'm going to seal the lid. And then I've got a... Where did I put it? Go. And I've got an um, airlock, which will go on the top. And that will allow the um, carbon dioxide generated by the alkalization process to uh, escape, but not air and bacteria to get in. So I'll just fill it up and plunk it in. As you can see, the water levels change as I push the... So, that's good. And then you put it somewhere warm, like a, a, an airing closet, or in my case, I'm gonna put it in the basement next to the boiler. Um, which has a fairly constant temperature around 18 degrees Celsius. Um, so if it gets too hot, the yeast is going to die. If it gets too cold, it's going to take forever for the uh, brew to happen. So this should take about six days, maybe eight days, depending on the temperature, uh, to brew. At which point I'll put it in the keg and it's another two or three week wait for it to be just right. So hopefully, we might be have something to drink by Christmas, but um, you know, it'll be better around New Year's to be honest.